A former Navy official has said that the indigenous twin-engine deck-based fighter jet will be better than the French Rafale M that came out 30 years ago, as it will incorporate technologies from the AMCA program and a new 110 kN class engine. The TED BF will surpass most of the deck-based aircraft presently in production, and its next-generation technology will enable it to face fifth-generation deck-based fighter jets. The AMCA will conduct its first flight by 2025, and the TED BF in 2026, so the possibility of reverse flow of technology exists, including integrated vehicle monitoring system, artificial intelligence, automated takeoff and landing, and auto air to air refueling system. The DRDO has started work on the development of a new long range anti ship missile. The development is currently in initial stages, and the Central Tool Room and Training Center will develop and supply the wind tunnel model for testing purposes. The new missile can feature advanced propulsion system like the solid fuel ducted ramjet system, that is currently under development by the DRDO, and was recently tested for the fourth time in December 2021. The DRDO has started work on an ATAX gun to replace its electric drive system to hydraulic drive, that was asked by the Indian Army after the recently conducted trials. As per DRDO documents, 10 more components will also be changed, and once these systems are successfully integrated, the 155mm ATAX will be put up before the Indian Army for evaluation, and might result in orders if it meets all requirements of the Army. The RDO's electronics and radar development establishment has started process to acquire an expand simulator that will be used for testing the first Tuta Mark II radar that is being developed for the Tejas Mark II fighter program. The private sector firm Astra Microwave is building the Uta Mark II radar, and after completing production and initial testing, the company will deliver the first radar to the electronics and radar development establishment by 30th of April 2022. The Indian Air Force is looking to lease one Airbus A330 mid-air refueler from France for training purposes, that will be followed by the lease of five more refuelers for increasing the combat capability and radius of its multi-role fighters. The A330 has a ferry range of 14,800 km, and the Air Force needs Rafale-compatible mid-air refuelers, to counter any move from the northern sector. India's private sector firm MKU Limited has completed the delivery of more than 158,000 modern ballistic helmets to the Indian Army and Indian Navy worth 170 crore rupees. The Mukut ballistic helmet provides a rare combination of extra lightweight helmet with ultimate ballistic protection, and can mount multiple devices, including night vision devices cameras and communication headsets. Turkey's Zyron Dynamics is all set to dispatch the first batch of ZQCM drones to its Indian partner DCM Sri Ram Industries, which holds a 30% stake in the Turkish company. The company is expected to deliver nearly 100 drones in batches by the end of 2022. The company will also make demo flights in India in March 2022, and is making plans to expand to Far East countries via India. Oh, Mark, drop it.